I'm Luke Hatfield. As ever, I am joined by our Warsaw correspondent here at the Express and Star, Mr. Joe Massey. Joe, January is a wonderful time of year, mainly because <laughs> yeah. of the transfer window. Everyone loves a bit of transfer action. We've seen one man come into Warsaw so far. Are we going to yeah. see any more? Um, yes, I'm sure we will see some more players come in ahead of Wednesday's deadline, mm -hmm. um, of course. Uh, some really interesting developments, really, on the transfer front today. I popped to see John Whitney at the Banksy Stadium this morning. Yep. It was essentially a pre-match press conference for the game against Blackburn on Tuesday night, but it is, of course, transfers that are dominating the agenda mm -hmm. at the minute. Walsall's squad is looking really short on numbers. Fans are anxious. They want to see new faces come into the club. Mm -hmm. Whitney said some really interesting things. The main thing was that they've put a lot of effort into one deal in particular for a permanent arrival. Oh. Um, said... Obviously, loan market, they've utilised that a lot over the past, but Whitney is eager to reduce the number of players they do sign on loan. So yeah. he's looking to get this player in on a permanent basis with one eye on the future, really. He wants to have this player with them for the long term. He, he knows that by gradually building a side, that's mm. the Saddler's best chance of achieving success. But of course, they are light on numbers. They are probably going to have to dip into the loan market as well. Mm -hmm. He's confirmed he wants a striker, he wants a centre-back. He also is looking to sign a winger. Um, so... Really busy days ahead. Um, fans would have preferred these deals were already done, to be honest. Whitney would have preferred that as well. Yeah. But we're looking at two, maybe three players coming in before this Wednesday deadline. Be interesting to see if they are made before the game of Blackburn, though, on Tuesday. Yeah, so we've seen plenty of big names move in January. We've seen the likes of Ronaldo link with moves. Obviously not going to end up going to Warsaw, is he? But... Are there any are there any deals which Whitney may have worked on earlier on this month who he may not have got over the line yet or may not get over the line at all? Um, well, he did confirm today that he has missed out on some of his targets. Mm. Um, some players haven't come to the banks as that he wanted. He said there's a whole host of variables involved with any transfer. Of course, money is one of them. We all know Walsall have got, operate on one of the lowest budgets in League One. They're, mm -hmm. they're, they're not a rich club. They're not going to throw money around left, right and centre. Another reason he mentioned, he sort of touched on in the press conference today, was location. Um, mm. A few fans have picked up on that in the story we put on the Express and Style website. They've sort of said, how could Walsall be in a better location, really? It's smack bang in the middle of the country. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's not quite as simple as that. Mm. Um, a lot of players, for example, if you live in London, you may want to stay in London. Yeah. Um, Charlton, for example, have signed a lot of players on loan. I don't think they would have got if they weren't in the capital. Yeah. You might live in Newcastle or Manchester, say, and rather join a Bury, who then come down into the Midlands. I think mm -hmm. Tyler Roberts in the past has spoken about how he struggled on loan at Oxford. Um, yeah. But of course he was outstanding for the Saddlers and outstanding for Shrewsbury as well. Two moves that allowed him to live at home. Yeah. Um, which, when you're 18 years old, is pretty important, really. Mm -hmm. um, so it's not just as simple as that. There's so many things that come into these transfers. But he did say as well, Whitney, that... These targets he's got, the players he's looking to bring in, his interest in these players has been registered throughout the window. Mm. Um, so what we're seeing here is players who pro are probably available, but who their clubs are waiting to sign players before they let them go. Mm. That's so what we saw on deadline day last time around with Zeli Ismail and Dana Jai coming in right at the last minute. It might be the same this time around. But I suppose the good news is Whitney has identified these targets. They're his players are the players he wants but it does feel a little bit anxious about can he get them in now and will mm. their clubs get the signings they want so these players can come out. That's it. So fingers crossed Cristiano Ronaldo buys a house just off the M6, right? Yeah, you've got a Ronaldo thing today, haven't you? I have, mate. I have. Yeah. Uh, hopefully one day we could see Ronaldo grace in Midlands football. But for all the latest on Warsaw's transfer dealings, which will probably not include Cristiano Ronaldo, make sure you stay with us at expressingstar.com.